Hey guys, Oblivion here, coming at you with a uh, card discussion. Um, I know I haven't done this in a long time, but I kind of wanted to get touching on uh, a couple of cards here. And as you guys can see, it's only two cards, um, Bottomless and Dimensional Prism. Now, um, I'm just going to go and get through this uh, card discussion. It's going to be rather short, but I really do want to hear you guys' opinions because I'm planning, like as you guys know, I am planning on going to YCS Miami, Florida because uh, I live there and, you know, I want to go and get some footage. Maybe I'll go and compete. I'm planning, uh, my deck choices really, guys, are my hero stun. Actually, I have to buy the deck, but I, I really do want to take a uh, deck that isn't rarely seen. So maybe Hero Beat, maybe. I know it's like seen and stuff like that. Um, I've really been digging my uh, my Beast Stun deck, the one that I have up on my channel, and I'm redoing my Rock Stun deck. And it's been doing amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, maybe Infernities, but I don't know about Infernities. But yeah, those are my deck choices for YCS Miami, Florida, guys. So if you guys want to help me test on Dueling Network, please um, help me out. It's in February, so I still have a lot of time. But you know, it's good to kind of prepare yourself. So one thing that I really, I, I was really asking some of my friends, and um, I kept on hearing a lot of uh, different answers. What should I rather run in my deck? Bottomless Trap Hole or Dimensional Prison? Now, about Bottomless, I've always, Bottomless has always been a very good card. Um, it's been, it's, you know, been handling a lot of like, cards and stuff like that. And it's, uh, how do I say this? It's, um, and now the priority is like gone. It's a really, really fucking good card. And I mean, Okay, basically, you know, you guys know it, 1500 or more, get summoned, bottomless, and removed from play. Um, one thing that I don't like about the bottomless is um, with Zen mains. As you guys know, Zen mains have 1500 attack, 2100 defense, but uh, Zen mains effect is basically, if this card were to get destroyed, detach one material, and then at the end phase, pop a card. So, you know, bottomless doesn't really deal with that. It deals with, a one, ma with one material, but Zen mains still gets his effect. And uh, also Sheehan and uh, Stardust Dragon. Also, they could, um, I think Stardust, yeah. I'm pretty sure Stardust also gets his effect to uh, negate Bottomless and destroy it. So that's one of the things, you know, Bottomless is good if you know your matchup, I guess you could say. For heroes, I would totally recommend Bottomless um, just because I think, you know, they're going to be normal summoning a lot of aliases, normal summoning a lot of shinings and stuff like that. And uh, I guess with alias, you just have to worry about the Gemini Spark. But, you know, but it's good to get those problematic cards out of the way early game. Um, like I said, guys, I've always tried to run bottomless in all my decks because I, I really do like bottomless. I like, I like, okay, I like it that you, your opponent just summons and you could just bottomless. And it fucks up a lot of plays like my Dragoonities. Um, I have gotten bottomless uh, by like the ducks has gotten bottomless so much I just rage because you guys know without the ducks um, basically the Dragoonities are dead so I mean bottomless has just done a lot you know and I would love to fit both of them in my deck but the thing is I feel like um, you know it just wastes too much space you know you know what I mean so, like, I re um, Bottomless is just a really good card in my opinion. I really do like Bottomless. And um, now let's go to Deep Prison. Deep Prison is basically when your opponent declares an attack, the t target that monster, banish that target. So, one of the bad things is that Dimensional Prison does target. And um, it, it's rather annoying that it does target. But it's a very good card. It, it does handle Zen mains. It does handle um, uh, Stardust Dragon and stuff like that. Um, one of the things also that I want to point out is that now with the current meta, um, Rescue Rabbit and, uh, I mean, Macro Rabbit and stuff like that, Logia, they could uh, kind of, you know, they, they negate this shit. Of course they're going to negate it, but, I mean, it's just really annoying. I don't like the fact that I have to set and wait for my opponent to come and hit me because there's always that one chance that there's a... That they're gonna MST you first and stuff like that, and I really, really do dislike when um, my back row gets MST'd. I just hate that. I flip out. Um, with Dark Worlds, there's a lot of popping of back row, mostly back row instead of mon monster, because you know they could they could basically spam out um, 3,000k uh, Graphos. So they're gonna hit the back row. That's the most important thing to get a clear shot to your lifelines. 
And um, that's also one of the reasons why I don't like Dimensional Prison. But I have recently be test been testing Dimensional Prison, and I I really have been liking it, except with Dark Worlds, because, you know, they pop a lot of shit. But um, I guess I would choose Bottomless Trap Hole for Dark Worlds, because if they were to special summon their Grapha, you could just Bottomless. And um, there's one Grapha that you don't really have to deal with, because uh, you guys know that basically they're only boss monster of the deck. Not really only boss, because there's, like, a lot of variants. But um, the boss monster of most Dark World decks is Grapha. So, you know, Grapha keeps on coming back from the grave or whatever. So it's good to just bottomless that shit. It's just good. And I just really, 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 really like bottomless. But I've also been digging Dimension of Prison. And I just don't know what to uh, take from those two. You know, you guys? So, if you guys please could give me like a response, give me reasons which card is better. I mean, they both do basically the same thing, except one takes a bit longer, which is the mention of prison, and um, you know, and stuff like that. So, I would really appreciate some feedback, guys. As for my YCS decks, I am planning on posting up a deck video, a deck video, a deck list, and stuff like that on the decks because I have updated them. And I really want to show you guys, um, you know, so I could get more, more of a, uh, a lot more criticism on the decks and, you know, because I know you guys are really, really, you know, and plus I really want to get good footage for you guys. And as you guys know, Team Slimmetry is going to be going, so I'll probably be able to get an interview. And uh, yeah, guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this card discussion. And please, this not, this wasn't really more of a card discussion. It was kind of more of a uh, let me know which card I should use in my deck um, this discussion. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And uh, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, wish me luck in YCS. Catch you guys later.